What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just want to say that I'm glad that you are here and uh, if you want more content like this just subscribe and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to I sh I'm gonna show you guys how to make infinite spells infinite uh, ammo in Dark Souls uh, 3 uh, Dark Souls Remastered not Dark Souls 3 uh, so we have I have two spells here fire surge and uh, black flame I found that f black flame is easier for me to search for because it has lower number which is eight but the game does not count the number of 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 uh, spells cast spell casts that you have as the number displayed here it shows them as different numbers inside the memory so we can't look up for eight immediately and find the results it's not gonna happen like that what we'll what we'll do is just go here and attach cheat engine to our game dark souls remastered here and then open that and then we'll go here and select unknown initial value but before we do that, you have to make sure that you enable writable here. Just check it two times. So it becomes a block here, like this. And then go search for unknown initial value. First scan. It will show us a lot of results here. So we, we want to whittle, whittle those values down. Those um, processes down. So we'll go here and select decreased value and then go in the game and then use one spell once and then press next scan it will whittle, that, whittle them down more and then go here and press unchanged and then go inside the game move a little bit and then once again do next scan don't press new scan it will delete the values so do it a bunch of times see it goes down from thousands okay okay that's enough I'll go decreased and then I'm gonna use another spell and then next scan see I'm gonna do use another spell I will do decreased because the number is decreasing decreasing and oh, sorry and then I'll use it another time decreased so again we have those here we'll press unchanged and then watch out for the values inside the we have 100 values let's do it again see that changed here this is the number of of spells because i have searched for that but for you guys just do this again and again and again and again and until you get like 50 values here and then see we have 31 so now what we want to do is go from here and then select all of those and then add them to the address list I know that the number is 9 but because uh, I I have searched for this before it sh it shows black flame multiplied by 3 so 9 divided by 3 equals 3 here inside the game but for for other spells, it's it will not be the same. So that's why you have to whittle down to to a hundred or thirty values, and then go here and then select select all of those values, and then try to lock them down. If you're if you're if you lock them down here, where is that? Uh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Uh, where is it? my blind <laughs> uh, toggle toggle to yeah toggle selected addresses so when I go inside the game see the number tries to change but it stays as three so now what I would do if I don't know the value here I'm just gonna go and select a bunch of them like these four and then deselect the value the records here 
if I deselect that and 9 is there. So if I do that, it will change. And then if I lock it down again, it will not change. So this, you repeat this process and then until you find the, the value that you are looking for. So what we are looking for is 6 here. Uh, delete that. Where is it? Mm. Delete all of those. We'll keep this one and then we can increase the number of, of spells that we need that we that that we have here. It will be 51. I can increase it as much as I want. It will stay like that. So if you want all the spells to not change, you go, you go in, inside here and then click find out what accesses this address. It will be, you'll see processes like this running. So use one. See, we have we have the things out here. Something we can we can see that those those adding add eax um, add eax move e ecx and etc etc. So what uh, what which, which of them you want to to select? You want to select the the one that is that has the boxes here to this side. See those? They have the box to the other side of the comma, so it moves RCX into EAX. We want EAX or any other value like an other address like RBX or anything here to be to this side and the number inside the brackets to the left side. So we'll select this one and then we'll go to the disassembler. And if you want, if you try and uh, try and replace with a code that does nothing, let's go here inside the game. See, it doesn't change. So we found the process that um, reduces the amount of spells you have. See, I can ch I can use whatever spell I want. I didn't test this for other spells, so I'm gonna try and test magic, attune magic. I'm gonna oh, shoot again, attune magic, and then I will attune something. Great magic weapon. Hush. Let's equip hush, and then let's equip a staff to see if we can do this. If we can make uh, let's equip a staff. All right. See? Yeah, it works. It works, and the the hush does not does not decrease. So this works for all for all the spells in the game. Now, <clears throat> now how to make this a script? Restore this with with original code, and then. We will select this, and then we'll press tools, and then go to auto assemble, and then templates, and then AOB injection, and then try, and then not try, and then copy this, copy this address here, and then press OK, and then press OK again. So now delete all of those, and then we'll select these here, and then delete all of them until we reach disabled disable will not delete disable we'll just delete everything above it delete that and then delete select this inject even inject select all of those and then replace them with the um, address that we have copied from the template from here this one uh, so we have copied that and replaced it, and then we, we go here and then type assert. Oh, assert. Okay, assert. And then we will go down, uh, double space down, and then we will once again paste the address that we have uh, that we have um, copied. In the beginning, <clears throat> and then go down 
double space and then d b declare bytes and then space and then nine zero nine zero and then the rest is history <laughs> and then just assign to current cheat table don't click click execute just don't click execute just exit that and then we can, we can see that this process is here and we will, when we enable the script here see it will make them knob it will delete these processes that reduce our our uh, spells we can use that see i can use all these spells that i want inside the game so and also if if you yeah if you equip other other spells it will stay stay the same it will not it will not it will not use them um yeah can i i'm gonna change the spell here see it will stay the same so if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys learned something new please make sure to subscribe and uh, if you guys have any problem uh, make sure to comment below and I will help you and uh, if you want this cheat table I'll just link it in the description and it will apply to you so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'm out peace